My name is Sharon Quinn. Memory is a powerful tool which can shape us and propel us toward greater gratitude in the present and the future. The following is a memory from over six decades ago of a person who had a personal impact on my life. Marcella was a former beautician, a good dancer, creative, organized, predictable, and my neighbor. Although she and her husband were retired and childless, she reached out to my older sister and me through little acts of kindness, permanence before picture day, cakes for special occasions, when my sister would go off to school, I would sneak out of my house and knock on Marcella's door. She gave up those perfectly scheduled hours and invited this painfully shy, scrawny, lisping four-year-old into her life. We climbed on buses to visit the nursing home. We put on aprons to cook and clean. We made soap and Christmas decorations and danced to Lawrence Welk. I experienced a life that was in sharp contrast to my own. On Sundays, dressed in the outfit she made for me and her, perfectly groomed, wearing a pillbox hat and gloves, we walked to the Methodist Church. Safe and secure, snuggled next to her, I heard beautiful singing and experienced a calm and peacefulness. Marcella chose to get involved, to get a little messy by opening her heart and in turn opening up my world. Through her, I realized that I existed. I'm forever grateful to her for the influence she had on my life. I read this in Mark 9 verses 36 and 37. And he took a child and set him in the midst of them. And when he had taken him in his arms, he said unto them, Whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name receives me. And whosoever shall receive me receives not me, but him that sent me. <laughs>